Welcome to Life of Crime. Life of Crime is an 18 card legacy game for one player. Let's take a look at the basic layout of the card. We have the blue circle, a card number, and level. In the green box we have the loot. I want to get that card draw number in the red box there. That's basically the difficulty of the mission. Then you have your card resource. In this case we have one and a level one accomplice. And then our mission here. In this case we have a house burglary. So let's play through a game. We'll go ahead and shuffle your cards. I've already gone through and done that, so let's just jump into it. First thing you'll do is discard one card. I'm going to draw three cards and choose from these three here. So choose House Burglary, Convenience Store, or Pickpocket. So we got a um, card draw number four, that'll give us one loot. Card draw number five, that'll give us two loot. Uh, or a Pickpocket, and a card draw number four, that'll give us one loot. So obviously we want, want more loot here, but that's a good option for us. So right now I know I have some more level two tools um, that'll help us get that and some disguises, so I think I'll go with this one. The other two cards will get discarded in the discard pile. So I'm drawing five cards. So from these five cards, I gotta pick one here. So we have our level two tools. That'll give us plus one, so that one's worth three. Uh, we got a level one vehicle. Uh, no modifiers there. Uh, disguise, that's worth one plus one, so that'll be two. A lockpicks, that's just one. And some plans, that's just one. Uh, but modified by minus two, so that's minus one, so we don't have to know one down. So let's take this one. That one's worth the most. We'll keep that one. Discard the rest. Do it again. Okay. We have uh, two accomplice, two force, one plans, uh, distraction, and lockpick tools. Um, so this would be nice, but it's kind of negated here, so that would be a zero. So I think we'll keep the two force and add that to our cards. Discard the rest. Last bit of cards we draw, and it looks like either of these would be equally good. Um, so it might just be a matter of which card you want to upgrade. Uh, let's let's go with the disguise here of two, and that'll give us a total of three. Discard the rest of the cards that you selected here. Um, add up the totals. So we have two, four, six, and then we got the modifiers, so seven. Uh, to match that one, 8. So, our mission number is 8. And now we have to draw 5 cards from the discard pile, and hopefully we don't uh, exceed 8. Uh, so you notice we have a 2 in here. At this point in the game, most of them are 1s, but as the game progresses, you'll get more and more of those 2s, even 3s, and then you might think you're good, and then you get all those high numbers, and all of a sudden, you fail your mission. So, pretty good chance that we'll succeed. We'll shuffle them and try not to look at them, um, otherwise you'll see what's on the deck. And then we'll just cut them, and then we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's how many cards you draw. And then you total up the resources, doesn't matter what they are, just the number. One, two, three, four, five. So that's our target number. So our mission number of eight was greater than our target number of five. So that was a successful mission. Oh, when we have a successful mission, uh, and collect your loot. So add that to your mission diary. Uh, keep track of how much you have. And regardless of your result, you'll upgrade a card. So you only upgrade from the cards that you've selected. Um, so I have uh, disguise, force, or tools. I can upgrade any one of those. And to upgrade a card, you either rotate it to the other side or flip it, depending on which, which level you're at here. So uh, this disguise looks pretty good. I think I'll go with that. If I happen to draw that one, that's uh, plus two of force. I already have two, so that would make that one a four. And we have some accomplices in our deck that are upgraded. So let's keep that one upgraded. So the basics of how to play Life of Crime. Shuffle your cards back up and do the whole thing over again. 